Archer Aviation. This is probably one of our biggest updates of the year. I'm going to be dead honest with you. I am so sorry by the state of me. I was in bed. It's 1am where I live here in Ireland. But this is the community I've built. We have a guy, Archer Daly, who you need to follow on X. And he has found this mind-blowing update that I actually missed today when it comes to Archer. That I just had to jump out of bed and share this with you. So without further ado, we're going to crack right on and get into it. Guys, today we have two bits of news, and it's just a testament to our community. One of them is a major breakthrough when it comes to Abu Dhabi. And then the other one, really, it's going to change the eVTOL race as we know it between Archer and Joby. But before we get into it, I need to thank Archer Daily. This is why we've created this community. Me and Reese work full time, so sometimes it's hard for us to always have the information up to date but with the community it's got so much easier because they're able to fire ideas across and help us along on the journey so whether you're an eVTOL fan or you're invested in any eVTOL company make sure to smash that subscribe button because we're just going to keep growing out in this space and supplying you with all the updates we can i'm not going to beat around the bush this will not be a long video just because it is so late over here but anyway, without further ado, let's get right on into it. So I'm going to start with the not so big news. So today's April 23rd, and Archer have secured the design for the approval of the UAE's first hybrid heliport. Now this is a hybrid between helipads and a vertiport, but it's the first of its kind going into the likes of the United Arab Emirates. So jumping straight across into it, we know Archer are trying to get into Abu Dhabi in a big way. And we really can see that by the start of 2026. So the UAE's aviation regulator, the General Civil Aviation Agency, has approved the design for the planned transformation of Abu Dhabi's cruise terminal helipad into a hybrid heliport for both helicopter and eVTOL aircraft operations. Now, we spoke about this a little bit on our live stream last night, where... We said, why can't LA use redundant helipads? They said it's in their plan, but is there that many redundant helipads ready? And is there an ability to make it like a hybrid? Can you land helicopters there and also have the charging stations? Well, again, our friends over in the United Arab Emirates make things happen. And this is where we're going to see the first hybrid of both the helipad and the vertiport. And it's their hybrid heliport. The goal is for this location to become the first site ready for eVTOL operations in the UAE, providing direct access to Abu Dhabi port to Lava Abu Dhabi. Now, this is where my pronunciation is going to become a bit of a joke. Sadia Island and the Corniche. Archer is working to transform this helipad alongside its infrastructure partner Falcon Aviation in close coordination with the GCAA. Now we've seen Falcon are really stepping up to the mark when it comes to assisting Archer Aviation. We've seen it now with their infrastructure they're planning to build in New York. We can see it here in the United Arab Emirates and then we've said about their steps to roll out in Los Angeles. So it's really interesting to see how Falcon is really stepping up to the plate. The party's aim to complete this transformation in the second half of 2025 as part of Archer's broader UAE infrastructure network for its early air taxi commercial service in partnership with leading operators Abu Dhabi Aviation. Now again, I've said they're looking at going into Abu Dhabi in 2026. So they're really upping the ante and getting all this over the line by the end of 2025. And it really does show you Archer mean business when it comes to scaling out their commercial operations. But then you're going to talk about a factory because we're always talking about the Covington, Georgia factory. And will they have enough aircraft to supply this growing demand? 
Well, the Hustle Brothers do have a video coming soon in collaboration with Arch Daily, and it's about a new factory that they're on about building, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But without further ado, what we're going to do, we're going to jump straight across to the main news of today. And this is one where you're just going to really want to strap yourself in, whether you're an Archer or a Joby investor. And I think Joby investors will be quite shocked to hear this. So jumping straight across into it, this is Archer Daily's X page. And if you want anything Archer Aviation, make sure to follow them because I don't believe how quick they are at getting the news out. But this is what I want to talk about. Archer put up this picture today. So if you want to see it here, it's a lot of pilots at work with the midnight. But what's important about this? Archer are completing their final checks before their first piloted flight of the midnight aircraft. Why is this so important? Well, Joby is still in the prototype phase. And for a company that is so close to commercialization by being certified, Archer are about to leapfrog them when it comes to having proper piloted tests. We've seen the S4 have Harvard tests. But this is going to be piloted flights. And it sort of makes me think back to some of the guys saying it to me in the comments. I think I shared it on the live stream that maybe we will get an announcement either before the earnings or at the earnings call. And imagine that, seeing the footage of the midnight in flight with a pilot on board. It will even make people like the bag of holding commend them. But we've another thing to add to this. It's not just a lovely picture. Archer Daily has done it again and actually come up with the goods. So let's jump across to it. So this is what we're talking about. When I first looked at this, I was like, what is going on here? But this is the aircraft registration system in the US. And what we're looking at here is Archer have registered six aircraft, registered from 703AX all the way to 708AX. And what's so important about this, this is valid until September 2025. You're going to think, why is this important? Well, this is another thing. The flight tests are happening. I don't think we've really anticipated how quick this industry is going to start moving once the ball gets rolling. But I really think that this is the start of it. We're looking at Joby with their prototypes, but the fact that Archer is now able to pump out even their 10 to 15 midnight aircraft per year, it's just starting to really level up. We've seen Joby bring out the nice graph of their flight tests. But are we going to see actual piloted footage from Archer Aviation? Please let me know in the comments. Do you think we'll see it prior to the earnings call? Or do you think it's going to be closer to this September time? It really makes me want to, I don't know, double down now even more on eVTOL. I said I've started getting quite saturated in my portfolio when it comes to my top three holdings, my Rocket Lab, my Archer, and then my Joby. But it really makes me want to maybe take a loss on my NVIDIA and get in even heavier than I am prior to the ball getting rolling. But that is not financial advice, so please don't follow me. And if you haven't seen, Reese has done a really big update on everything Joby Aviation, so make sure to watch that next.